What can I help you with? I have a uh, Tomac Chris Karras spear I'm looking to sell. You have a what? It's a it's an Indonesian Chris. Definitely does look like something out of The Hobbit. Yes. <laughs> Today I'm here to sell a Tomac Karis Chris Indonesian spear. If a person was to appraise it, it would appraise somewhere in the eight to ten thousand dollar range. I'd like to get somewhere in the three thousand dollar range. If I sell the spear today, I have a store that I'm going to be opening, and I'm going to use the money towards that. It's a pretty rare piece, somewhere in the neighborhood of two, three hundred years old. Done in silver, it's got uh, genuine rubies and sapphires on it. So what else can you tell me about it? Where'd you get it? Well, I had a bad case of the antique pox in the 1976, and I never got over it, and I just collected and bought stuff. This actually was purchased in Malaysia. What makes this one so special is the gemstones are all original. Yeah, gems are definitely real. Any idea why it's shaped like that? Is there a purpose behind that? Or? There is. In their culture, these were used for execution and fighting. They would stab the people, and they would die fairly quickly because of the shape of it. But the main purpose of the Chris is its mythical powers. When I bought this one, he proceeded to pointed at a gecko on the wall, and the gecko fell off the wall. OK. I mean, it definitely looks like something that would be in Lord of the Rings or something, so I can assume why people would say it has magical powers. What are you looking to get out of it, man? It's worth a lot of money, but you know what I really need? I need to get around three grand for the piece. The value in the stones are worth more than that, but I just need it. I need to sell it quickly. Do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and check it out? Absolutely. Bring the best person around. They, they're going to like this piece. Well, hopefully if I do buy it, it's a good one, not an evil one. I've had nothing but good luck with it so far. All right, I'll, uh, I'll be back. Take a look around. Thank you. If this man is truly an expert, I have no problem at all with him looking at it because it's worth well more than what I'm wanting. I don't really believe in magic, but I do believe in money, so I called my buddy Dave to come down and tell me what it's worth. Chris knives, Chris blades are a lot of fun because there's a lot of symbolism that's tied up in them. They're often considered sacred a lot of times because the pattern welded metal is made out of uh, a meteorite steel. So basically, it's a gift from the gods. Now, is this considered a spear or a sword? It's a spear. And that shape of that blade, once it cuts you, it, it creates a wound channel that's pretty hard to fix. So they're a, a pretty devastating weapon when you see them used. They told me this piece was uh, two to 300 years old, too. Um, I couldn't tell you for sure. A lot of the blades get remounted and remounted and remounted. Um, you know, looking at this piece, it, it, you know, I can see where they've done some repair work. There's some little glue ports, portions where the, the wire's been glued back down, and it's possibly been resoldered up around here. But all in all, the workmanship on this is fantastic. In your opinion, what do you think it might be worth? At auction, I know you could get a solid 2300 for this. OK. Um, I can work with that. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, thank you. So I know you were looking to get 3000 bucks for it, man. Um, you do have something really cool here. I, I, the silver works pretty good. I mean, we do have some damage, but it is old. I'd offer you around 1500 bucks for it. If I could take this piece off, I would say that'd be fair. How about 2800 Um, I'd do 18. Uh, I gotta, I gotta make money too. I, I understand. It's not as if I can just flip this tomorrow. I wasn't gonna walk out of here with anything less than 25. How about we do two and we just close the deal right 2000? now? 2000 I can do that. I'm going to do it. All right, come with me. Let's do some paperwork. All right. I'm thrilled that we were able to come to a agreeable price, and I'm just glad that this good luck spear is going to reside here at the pawn shop now. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.